Amanda Bynes is, she's schizophrenic. Another day means a new development in the world of Amanda Bynes. Today, now take this with a grain of salt, Radar Online reports that Amanda's parents, Rick and Lynn, are concerned their daughter is suffering from schizophrenia. The source also revealed that Amanda has shown distressing behavior for years, claiming, quote, Amanda has heard voices for years and was concerned she was being spied on via smoke alarms and clocks in her home. She would cover electronic items because Amanda believed that was the only way she wouldn't be spied on. It's an extremely sad situation because Amanda just refuses to get help. Her parents have met with several attorneys in hopes of seeking a conservatorship of Amanda, but apparently the likelihood of a judge signing off on it is, well, not very likely. The source added, conservatorships are very hard to get and being mentally ill and addicted to drugs isn't enough. Amanda hasn't ever been to rehab or ever agreed to see a mental health professional. Her parents are absolutely powerless to do anything at this point. Of course, like Amanda tends to do, she recently lashed out at her parents on Twitter, saying, never trust or listen to a word any person from my family says to the press. I am suing them for money laundering, unethical manager work. I never signed a contract with them, and they had been stealing my money without me knowing. I'm 27 and don't like when press talks to my parents. My parents are almost 70 years old. We are no longer on speaking terms. I would rather them be homeless than live off of my money. Sad stuff, right? The source reveals that her parents have never lived off of her money. They are just concerned for their daughter. I should also add that her father recently retired from his successful dentistry practice in Thousand Oaks, California. Quickly though, let's break down what constitutes schizophrenia. The official classification of the mental disorder claims the inclusion of the following symptoms. Number one, delusions. Number two, hallucinations. Number three, disorganized speech. Number four, grossly disorganized or catatonic behavior. Number five, social withdrawal. And number six, sloppiness of dress and hygiene. Whoa. Now, this news comes just after TMZ reported that Amanda Bynes may be off the hook after her recent arrest. As of now, it appears no drugs were recovered from the scene, and well, that's what Amanda has been saying all along. A lot of information to process, I know, but what do you guys think? If Amanda is suffering from schizophrenia, I just hope she gets some help. All these stories are just making my heart hurt, and I just want the best for her. But let me know what you guys think is going on with her parents and with her. Leave me your thoughts below or send me over a tweet. And then, of course, hit that subscribe button for all the latest entertainment headlines in video form. In Hollywood, I'm your host, Katie Krause, and thanks for watching.